Hey everybody, welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. Let's continue exploring our prison. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. You want to know really why? Can't. Because the entire place is surrounded by quicksand. Uh, not only that, it loops. Yeah, it does loop. Like, uh, legitimately, once you're done with this town, you never get to come back here again. Uh, yeah, that's right, because you can... No, not even with the buggy. No, even with the buggy, you can't come back here. Yeah, yeah, because you, you just go straight to the gold saucer area. No, you don't. You just get lost in the desert. Are you sure you just can't travel south? If you leave, try to leave this town completely. Yeah. Once you finish the story segment here in this town, yeah. if you try to come back into it, you go through the um, wasteland areas. Yeah. But you only go through about five or six scenes before the um, Chocobo carriage finds you. That's and what then I'm saying. You out. But you can't just travel south from that screen and go back to the gate? Nope. Huh. Well, then I haven't... I never found a reason to come back to this area. Unless you're playing the Japanese version. As Matt was... I briefly mentioned last part... Uh, but in the original 1.0 version of this game, we're talking about first Japanese release. That well that you saw on the top of the screen there with that treasure chest that was already pilfered. This one's also pilfered for some reason. I don't know what's the story behind that. I like how they tried to censor the fuck there with Pyuk. Yeah. Like, who, like this place is like haunted by one of those fucking 1940s comedians. Pyuk, pyuk, pyuk. There's a well that you can enter in the, in the north screen of this place. And the original Japanese version, there was an enemy, there was a test enemy that was left test there. Zero. That's called Test Zero. It doesn't attack at all. It pleads with you not to attack it. And it has like over 25,000 HP. So it's a beefy motherfucker. And I think you fight like four of them. Yeah. Like at once. And while the battle itself will take forever... You're, you're guaranteed to win because they don't attack back, and they give you a lot of fucking experience points. Because, again, it was for debugging purposes that the, Jap that the developers left in there. Uh, it was taken out for the international versions, obviously, and they're just uh, they're just lost to the sands of time. Unless you play the original release. So now we got to get the boss's permission, Who? and honestly, you would think he's the guy who runs it, and apparently that's not the case. No. Now here's the thing though, because uh, normally this is uh, one of this, this is this where this, this is kind of like a, a point of no return. But seven does have your back. Uh, you have a free in here, right? Uh, you can go to the truck here and just rest it, and you can grind a bit if you find yourself under leveled, and you can do that. I, I I do appreciate the game looking looking out for you like that. That's how you're supposed to design something to begin with. Last yeah. thing you ever want to do is leave your player in a dead in a in a your fuck situation. Damn right. <laughs> Fucking, I think. I love Final Fantasy V, but I think there was one egregious part where they didn't exactly think over, and I think it was the library. I'm tempted um, to say the library as well, but I also want to think maybe Excess Castle. Was that a point of no return? Uh, for, no, for the, in the meantime, like you, you, like sure. you were locked in there, because I, I think yeah, the, I think you are locked in there. Yeah, yeah, but is there a way to free like rest like rest for free? I'm all? trying. I'm failing to remember. Yeah, so but am I. It's just one of those really nasty ass yeah, dungeons. Norm, it's if, the womb dungeon. If you're going to lock the player into this specific dungeon or story sequence where they can't escape until the fight is done. You gotta be careful about that sort of thing because if for some reason you're under leveled, or you don't have enough items, or you don't have enough uh, anything in general, dead you game. can you can easily lock the game up like that. Well, it's not lock up; you're just stuck in a dead game. Yeah, you're in deep shit. Yeah, exactly. He's like, you're not you're incapable of progressing because of you didn't prepare well enough. You, you didn't have, you the, lack the benefit of hindsight. That's I, that, I, I don't Carl like. Veronica is nasty about that. Honestly, on her first run through, it's a fun, it's a game that loves to sucker punch the player. Yeah, you gotta be really careful about that sort of thing. Cause that's like that. You talk about a major turnoff <laughs> from like everyone to revisit the game. <laughs> there you go, right there. Like, oh, I did. That game sure showed me. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Is this what you were talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Because no, the no, you will like, find like, this. But then, if you go south from the uh, area here, you don't go down into the town. You just straight up go into wasteland like this. Yeah. This is also the only place in the game where you can fight two particular enemies: the uh, sandworm and the quacktar. It's oh, you should have fight regular cactar. Yeah, it's it's regular cactar. Wait, what's a quacktar? Well, cactar is like the 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 fake version of it. Yeah. Okay. And this is the sandworm. It's yeah. just an HP sponge. Don't worry about it. Yeah, basically. Yeah, and what an HP sponge. It does earthquake. That's pretty much all it does until it dies. Jesus Christ. That's what else uh, did sandstorm remind me of sandworm. It, it, it does sandstorm when it's low on HP. Uh, but yeah, it's an HP sponge. Uh, you can still turbo ethers from it though. Ooh. So. Uh, might want to make it worth it just for the sake of having it in your inventory because Turbo Ethers only sell for one kill because they're considered rare items. Well, there's a spot in Disc 2 where one particular enemy you can like steal a mug and win a bunch of them from um, the uh, enemies that all they do is cast slow on you. Mm, okay. Look at Eric rocking that umbrella. Hey. 
Eh, eh. <laughs> Rocking my umbrella. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. <laughs> <laughs> you turned it into a Duff Stuff remix. I was hoping I could make it a tapeworm. No. Oh. oh, it's small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all all material has leveled up to two stars at this point, so now I got like two casts. When you master it, you get infinite. Damn right. Can't wait to sell it. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> hey, there's a turbo ether. Okay, let's call it a wrap here. But unfortunately, land worm again is an HP sponge. It's, it's a it's a big meaty worm. He's a beefer. Yeah, he's a pretty big beefer. Also another traditional Final Fantasy enemy. It's Not Final Fantasy game without a, a sandworm. It's a Mr. Meaty. That was the first game that had him. Uh, sandworms? I think they've been since the first game. I remember them in 5. I also remember how fa how fast they died to Aqua Rich. <sighs> Good lord. No, no, no. What was the... Um, I think it was starting with the second world of Final Fantasy V. You fought whatever the fuck those things were in the desert. No, that wasn't the first. That wasn't the second world. It was the first world. Was it the first world? I yeah, the first like, world was where you had to go south through like the maze of uh, sand dunes. Yeah, yeah. And then you fought the sandworm enemies, who, if you used aqua rake on them, they lost like almost three times over their. You're HP. talking about the, the you, you know you're talking about the sandworm enemy. I'm talking about this one specific encounter you fight in the desert, and I think it's in the second world. Like as soon as you enter the second world, the, the first desert you run into, you fight this monstrosity looking thing from the desert it, looked, it creeped me the fuck out when I first encountered it I'm struggling to remember it uh, I'll have to get a picture for it later uh, but anyway we're going to explore the desert a little more because I also love the background here too it's very simple oh, but I, yeah, I was it. talking about the mountains last time they're, I guess there are mountains here yeah, yeah. mountains and mirages yeah I guess they didn't bulldoze them all <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of here's a rare enemy you can fight here there's two enemies you can fight over in this area, the Death Claw and the Motorball. The Motorball is a good second chance for you to get uh, your Matra Magic. Yeah, they all cast But the Death Claw gives you the ability to learn Laser, which is just it's just pretty much demi too. Yeah, it's gravity-based. Speaking of Death Claw. Also, I think you can steal something rare from them. Don't quote me on it. Uh, Platinum Bangles. Yeah. Uh, which are weaker in terms of uh, just pure defense compared to Carbon Bangles, but they are double material growth. I'm surprised you're not trying to manipulate them. Uh, so, no, because I took Keishi out of the party. Uh, and oh, I'll, Manipulate I, goes right on cloud. Yeah, Manipulate. Uh, I'll give it to Tifa in the future. Yay, Tifers. Yeah. <laughs> give Tifa just like, just, you know. By the power of boob, I order you to obey me. Was well, there a stroker go. in whom? No, the problem is, is that... All right, so we have two enemies. All right, so Matt, I tested this out, and it doesn't work. Uh, but uh, having both enemy skills on one character doesn't mean both materials will get it. That kind of... Are you sure about that? Because yeah, that's how I did I it with have, Shadow Flare. I've tested it out. It, but I've done it with Shadow Flare. I, I don't... Maybe you're misremembering. Or maybe no, it was, I've maybe done it, it with Shadow Flare. Hold on. I'm just... Let me finish. God damn it. So either you misremember or maybe it was something else that didn't happen because I tried that with Laser. Uh, I tried that with Beta. It didn't work. I did try that with Matramatic. It didn't work. And but I swear... I've done it and I just did it recently in the PS4 version yeah, with um. I tried it with Laser in this one and it didn't work. So I have enemy skill on Cloud and the second enemy skill on Aerith. And I'm waiting for this dude to cast Laser again. And hopefully it targets Aerith. But, you know, they, that's the luck of the draw, really. He'll end up not casting it in this battle. Uh, because um, as you might have... As you might encounter and when you're trying to get certain enemy skills, when an enemy uses up all their MP, no more enemy skills. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. Unless... I, I, maybe you can toss them in Aether? You can. Yeah. I guess you could do that, you know. But then again, you also got to hope that if it casts laser, it hits the correct target. Because again, it's not manipulate just a matter. guarantees it will. It's not just a matter of yeah. Manipulate will guarantee that it was. Matt is absolutely right about that. Uh, but if if you don't have manipulate, you got to hope that they hit the right target. Because again, they need to be hit by it. It's not just a matter of seeing it; they need to be hit by it. Uh, Death Claw, despite its name, only inflicts stop if it manages to. Do Is it stop or paralysis? Uh, well, yeah, I, yeah. I guess it would be paralysis. It's kind of the same thing, though. And there we go. Yeah, Deathclaw B's power is used up. It's out of MP. Just so blow no, it out. No more laser. But it's okay. We got one laser for one enemy skill, and that's cool. I'm not going to be using laser much except for uh, maybe uh, Wu-Tai. There's also an, there are some enemies where it will actually kill. The gravity can actually kill in this game, I believe. Gravity? It kills the... Um, are you sure you know about what? that? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, over, yeah. I'm just thinking, remembering now. Yeah. I'm sorry. 
So why are you still going north? Oh, because I, ha I haven't fought the Cactar yet. Oh, you're looking for one of them? Yeah, I gotta fight the Cactar. It's a rare encounter, like so, like around six percent. Uh, otherwise, it looks you're, like a computer glitch. You're fighting like, oh my god, I just realized the Final Fantasy VI reference. What? What? Oh god, I'm an idiot. Uh, Final Fantasy VI, uh, the place where you fought Cactars in that game, also shared that encounter with the Hoover Worms in oh. the World of Ruin. It's the exact same case here. Uh, you either fight land worms or you fight cactars. Uh, cactars are spry fuckers because they have amazing evasion. But no real HP. But no real HP. Once you hit them once, that's about it. They give you next to no experience in AP, but they give you 10,000 gil pop. If There's a little them. island dedicated to those shits. Yeah, I love that island. It also gives you, um, if you morph them, they become tetra elementals. Yeah. Uh, which I believe... What, did that give you, like, uh, immunity to four elements? Yes. Yeah. All right. That's what I'm thinking of. So if you continue going in a certain direction, I think it's north, um, the in, in the wasteland, you'll eventually run into the Chocobo carriage. We will take you back to the uh, For, the screen. If you clear the segments and you come back here and you go through this, and you go through the deserts again, you'll meet him and I'll take you out of here. Yeah. These are your second shot for Match or Magic. Yeah. <laughs> Running into four of them is a little dangerous, too. Because they all cast Match or Magic, which targets every character for not elemental damage <laughs> and uh, ignores Rose. So, but it also uh, doesn't do much damage at this point. No, no, no. But it's like, yeah. be careful. <laughs> that, except that dude. Fuck that dude. <laughs> like, what's a good? No, I don't. I, like, I don't follow the crowds. Everyone's casting Match or Magic. I just prefer to run over my shit. I got these spikes in front of my vehicle. I, that means I can't really them. run over anybody. I'm just gonna crash into people. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know if you can steal anything from that, though. I forget. <laughs> you try I think it's just high potions. I feel like if you try to steal something, you're just gonna, you're just gonna end up touching the spike. <laughs> spike steal. Ugh. That would be something a dickhead Rob, mod hack would come up with. You steal them and if enemy has spikes, it hurts you. It hurts you? Yeah. I gotta be wearing iron gloves or some other shit. Wait a minute. I know that gun noise from anywhere. He's just shooting up in the air. I love his um, official artwork. It looks a lot better. Like it doesn't it's, really convey. It's here. one thing that I, I wish they the model did emphasize because his face is actually kind of scarred. chiseled. Yeah, it's chiseled as fuck. It's uh, it's pretty scarred. It's a man face. Yeah, how I, I guess so. By men who work on cars. <laughs> how is he still and have shotguns? How is he still alive though? Well, he I used mean, the word cornhole. Uh, it's never explained how he survived, but he did lose his left arm, and he also had a gun grafted, much like Barrett. But uh, Dine is uh, really went the deep end in the whole nihilism angle. Dine just went fucking insane. Yeah. That's all there is to it. The grief just got too much for him and broke his fucking brain. Losing his town. Family. His, his family. He thinks his daughter Marlene is dead. Don't he blame him. Yeah. He doesn't know that Marlene's actually alive. Yeah, this, this is actually, actually, this is actually grounded, Marlene's father. These two going at it like here are actually kind of a grounded cloud versus Sephiroth too in a way. Like it's much more down to earth with like l realistic stakes. Right, right. To cloud and Sephiroth. Yeah, but he doesn't go crying to mommy, though. Yeah. Ow. 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 Yeah, That's, but, I'm getting shot. <laughs> yeah, but Dine is just like, it, it, it's, it, this is the end for him. It's like he does not give a fuck anymore. He just wants to he just wants to watch the world burn, basically. Yeah. Cuckoo. For Cocoa Puffs. He wishes he had Cocoa Puffs. You know, that's why he just did a nice big bowl of Cocoa Puffs. He needs the Cocoa Puffs materia. Come on, Dine. Let's go to the market. Let's get some Cocoa Puffs. I could just like imagine a Cocoa Puffs material is just literally a brown orb. It's a brown orb. Yeah. So he hears that Marlene's alive and Dine's going to take his daughter to his wife. No, 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 no. We got to stop it here. The wife is dead. The wife is suffers a crippling case of the deads. How many times do you want to get shot here, Barrett? <laughs> uh, man, I got I to gotta think of something before you run out of blanks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, what if so he just has a giant airsoft gun? This is a one-on-one -on -one encounter. Only Barrett fights dying here. And you can easily poison him. Here. I lost my right arm. You can I'll have it you. now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. It's really 1,200 HP. Dying, what happened to your face? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Malto Cocktail the counter attack, but that's it. This is over. 
Yeah, he has three attacks. They're all single damage targeting, and they all don't really mean much of anything. Yeah, it's not it's not a really hard battle. The only if you don't have a right arm to end it immediately, poison works. Uh, poison works, yes, because he's human. And he will and he will be poisoned. Yeah, basically, let let poison do the work for you. Keep your HP above like three hundred. I want to say. Yeah. He also has a limp too. That's probably from the fall damage. Yep. Or the right arm. So you lost your brain, boy. So losing an arm makes him go. Well, no. Makes him limp. <laughs> uh, depends on what hits. No, I wouldn't say that was just from the fall. Right. When he originally fell. Can't wait to see his leg get broken in HD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking they're gonna Springfield gorge it. <laughs> I want to see what they do with Dine in the remake too. There's nothing really they can do, though, because I think Dine is fine as, as is. Yeah, Dine's element is essentially that. The last of Barrett's passed, and ultimately it just broke him in. Nothing you can do with him at this point. My wife, Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, dude! I hear her voice. Who? My wife, Eleanor. Who? <laughs> My wife, Eleanor. Who? My wife, Eleanor. Who? Cloud, stop it! <laughs> and Dine just decides to kill himself while he's got what little left of his sanity he's got left. So, you know, with the left, what's left of his sanity, he doesn't insane. I don't know. Thing. He survived the first fall. We count him again. He's got two gun arms. <laughs> <laughs> now I got a gun leg and a gun arm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try again. Now he's, he's got a peg leg. What do you call him? Peg leg Dine. <laughs> a gun leg Dine. Gun leg Dine. Like the Scotsman from <laughs> yeah, Samurai basically. Jack. I was gonna say I was gonna say Planet Terror. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot about that one. I was looking at a Scotsman from um, Samurai Jack. I want to go up. You gotta get the boss's permission to win. That Dine's dead, Dick. <laughs> Dick Van Dead. Dick Van Dead. <laughs> Did you kill? Did you kill Dine? He did it himself, man. So, Barrett's still no. not having any slander about his friend, though. What's well, left of him, anyway? Who is this dude? Coach? <laughs> Who is Mr. Coates? Honestly, Coates is probably one of Dio's henchmen. And it's also kind of a really grubby way of getting chocobo jockeys. Hey, you guys want to get out of the dirt prison? How do you feel about working as a chocobo the jockey for the rest of your life? going to work that cock, and I'm not talking about mine. I'm actually talking about just giant birds. That's still sexual harassment, dude. Who's gonna believe you, dirtbag? Fuck. <laughs> Dear God, Dio's a lot. Actually, you know, actually going through this let's play, Dio's a lot more of an asshole than I'm giving him credit yeah, for. Yeah, Dio's a jerk. I mean, sure, he runs like the amusement park, but it's like that can only get you so far. I mean, but it's also like when he throws criminals here. <laughs> He throws criminals out, and then he gets them out by means of fucking making them become jockeys. And given how, like, fast he was to believe that we were the culprits behind the, the murders in the battle station, who's to say that he hasn't been that it's hot-headed before with somebody else that didn't deserve to be here? Cough, cough, us. Cough, cough. cough, cough. Well, I mean, us is the prime example, sure, but before that, I'm talking. Also, he's got. Also, apparently, we're at the base of the Golden Saucer, so this has to be the world's most god awful elevator ride. Yeah, no, what square is this? Oh, this is the poor square. I don't want to be here. You can't get GB here. <laughs> the poor square. All right, floor one. What floor is the Golden Saucer on? Uh, hope, we got an, <laughs> hope we got a podcast. Let's <laughs> <laughs> hear this is the staircase again. It's like that fucking Sonic uh, Colors elevator from all the way down to Earth, all the way up to here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The interdimensional. <laughs> uh, elevator so uh, Esther here is explaining how we're going to win our freedom basically we have to win a chocobo race now this race is heavily skewed in your favor uh, so there's really nothing to worry about also uh, there that is, your eyes are not deceiving you that is a summon material you see right there Ramu. get it now because this is the this is, this is a one time only room yep uh, once Wait, can you get it if you come back in disc two? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, well, you can get it from Bone Village. Oh, there's that. Yeah, but, I'm talking uh, about disc two. No, no. Like when no, you become your own jockey. When you come here on jockey, yeah, you don't come here though when you're your own jockey. I don't believe so. Hmm. No, because you race. You you sign up in the Chocobo Square. Oh, and that's it. Just yeah, straight yeah. You don't come here. All right. Yeah, this is the one time only room. And and what a place to find fucking. Yeah, I know. Like, this is a really random spot to get some material. 
I'm trying to think of where the ran most random ass places I gotta summon. Like in in this game specifically, or just Final Fantasy? In Final general? Fantasy in general. I want to say five had weirder places, but hmm. well, five was all over the place with summons. Yeah. Like if you weren't also just running into them in random encounters. Fuck you, Rambo. The fuck was that? Oh, that that means the race is gonna start soon. Oh. The jockeys don't really have anything to say to you. They think you're just criminal scum, which is a bit hypocritical. I think they're probably criminals too. And they're also probably midgets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I go out? Off to the void. Oh, oh okay. I guess I'm. Guess I'll just wait here. Oh, cool. She actually got us a bird. There was always a. There was a bit of dialogue that I always found a little strange with, with Esther because Mr. Coates describes Esther as strange looking, and I never knew what he meant by that. Was it her dress attire? It could be the dress she attire. She does stick out in a way. Yeah, and it's but, also like old, rather old timey. Yeah, because I get the feeling that, like, she's a, maybe she's like overly caked in makeup or some other shit. Maybe. Are you doing the stamina regeneration? I'm doing the yeah, of course. That's why it's just a, that's also why it's just a manual operation. All right, so let's talk about juggle racing here for a second. There are two modes of operation: there's manual and there's automatic. You never want automatic. Don't do automatic at all. Automatic sucks. Uh, switch it to manual, and basically what you're doing is that you can control the chocobo speed. You can speed it up. You can slow it down. The trick to winning the races, obviously though, is holding down the shoulder buttons because that restores stamina. The game doesn't tell you that. Nope. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> um, rem remind me, isn't there a black chocobo in this? There yes, is, that is Teo, run, of Teo, run by Joe. Yeah. And you actually can beat him. Yeah, you can reliably beat him once you have a good enough chocobo. Uh, but, you, you know, you don't have to worry about Joe until you start S getting ranks. into serious chocobo racing. No, you, you, you can kind of miss uh, early as A ranks. It's not until you become There's a, a ranks, yeah, I'm talking about you seeing more often It's not until yeah. you become a connoisseur of chocobo racing. I guess what, yeah, chocobo connoisseur. Choco cock. Sure, I guess. Uh, but for this race, again, it's heavily skewed in your favor because your chocobo is actually pretty good. So just hold, down, it again. just hold down the shoulder buttons and hold down square. Get that speed your chocobo up. And you're a win -war. What the fuck? Where'd they go? <laughs> Why did the helmet icons load in the bottom? Those are crowns. The crowns. The, the chocobos are on the top, though. <laughs> Way to go, choco champion. I am choco champion. Hey, no hard feelings if you if you lose, right? No hard feelings if you lose. How about you choke a cock? <laughs> So you managed to murder the murderer. Way to go. Wait, that begs a really interesting question. Barrett didn't get up. Barrett was... We were afraid for shooting them all up there. Dying went up and went back down? <laughs> I so guess Dine just, so. So Dine just decided I to come up on the so. Chocobo races, lost, yeah, lost shot everybody shot in the battle square, and, went back and then down. went back home. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, the murders of the Shinra sh uh, troops and the, uh, the the staff is a little weird when you think about it. That would imply that Dine did come up, shoot people, and went back down. He's a real sort Does of loser he at the do that often? <laughs> yeah, did I, he lose Joker I feel races? like it'll probably be a bit more fleshed down in the remake. But well, I, I would hope so. I would hope it, so it's, because it's one of those weird things that never sat right with me because yeah. now it's like you're know, implying that Dine has been the boss of the Corral prison for a very long time. So he just comes up there, kills, and goes back to his prison? <laughs> I heard Barrett's back in town. <laughs> All right, that guy. <laughs> Time to frame him. He's going to jibber his last jabber. Maybe. You. <laughs> Don't give me that jibber jabber, fool. See you guys next time.